This is Owen McKendry for ESPR Boxing. Delighted to once again have Tyler Denny back on the channel. This time as the new European champion. Tyler, first we'll have to start with that night. How does it feel being called the European champion? Still nice, man. Still nice. Still buzzing with it. Still, people still sending me like uh, videos of the night and everything. So, bring on the next one. Has it settled in fully now? Because obviously, you know, you've done it the hard way. You've worked your way up. You, you've got a massive win over. A bit of a maverick of a fighter whose record was very deceiving for his age, where he'd fought. Um, he obviously, he got a knockout to win the title. So has it settled in now that you are the European champion? Yeah, it's settled in. Um, I'm back in the gym. I'm back to being a nobody. Do you know what I mean? you got to work your way back in. Um, at the gym every day again, now, waiting for dates on the next one. And then as a whole, obviously, we're here for a, a BCB Promotions show. BCB Promotions is absolutely flying at the minute. You know, yourself, Nathan Heaney, Leon Davis. How good is it that sort of a, a small hall show from the black country is sort of almost, in a sense, taking over? Yeah, well, we've always had the talent. Just having the platform to do it. Um, Connor Walker's got his rematch as well against Patterson. Um, we've got Ben Collins making his debut. He's one to watch. Sean's fighting for Midlands title here, so... We've got some good fighters, man, and uh, long might continue. And what's, what do you think is next for yourself? Obviously, I know you made some call-outs in the ring after in the heat of the moment that you said yourself, but do you want to defend the European title, or is it, do you know what, I've got it, let's move on to another title? The thing is, I think the only other title apart from the European is the world, really, that's better. So, until I'm in a position to get that, or some crazy fight out there, I'll defend that and... I've got something to offer people then, do you know what I mean? And hopefully I defend that early next year and move on, bigger and better fights, more money. <laughs> Is there anyone in particular that you'd like to fight or at this stage of your career, which it seems you've done anyway throughout your whole career, it's just anyone will do as long as it pays the bills. Yeah, that's the main thing really. If we can get one out early next year, and hopefully I want the biggest name out there that I can get, um, whoever that may be, but that's what I'm in it for. Like I said, you look at my CV, I thought anyone they've put in front of me and continue to do the same. But hopefully more recognisable names will want to fight me now. And then one thing I do have to comment on, it's the first time I've been to a boxing show in Wolverhampton. The noise in the halls was absolutely incredible. How does that sort of spur you on when you, you walk out, you see everyone there, and obviously it's amazing that they come out, but that noise was electric. Yeah, it was. It was I've never experienced nothing like it, man. And I think the venue itself is great, and they've done it up to credit to the halls. And but the people from the black country there, that they made it, man. And that that atmosphere is it's something I'll never forget. Hopefully, we can get plenty of more to come. But the only problem is that I might grow in the venue in a way. It's like there's people wanting tickets that I had none left for. So enjoy it while it lasts, and we might have to move to Birmingham. So do you think it could be a case of potentially one sort of maximum two more and venues like that because obviously as you go through the ranks and now European champion obviously everyone wants a piece of the cake sort of thing with tickets but like you say you, your support there was it was sold out it was it was a huge night so do you think it's sort of like say only maybe a couple more fights in a venue like that? I think so and it's going to be even harder now say for instance someone off me who had 10 tickets off me last time they've messed with me saying all oh, the other mates are going to come there so it's gone to 15, 20 and there's going to be a few of them so it's going to be a bit awkward uh, doing the tickets for the next one, but that's a nice problem to have in it, so I've just got to keep winning and I'm sure we'll find venues to uh, fit everyone in. And is there sort of a time frame for you to get back out in the new year, or is it just wait for certain cards to be announced and take it as it comes? No, I've, they've told me early next year, so I'm hoping March, maybe end of Feb, so hopefully. I'm in training now for it, so I'll be ready whenever it is. And then for yourself, finally, if sort of Nathan Heaney does get that big night at the pot at the in, sorry pot, is it? the Stoke City ground the bet 365 would that be a card you'd be interested in fighting on? of course yeah but to be fair I'm good mates with Nathan and um, we've kind of a mutual thing where we go our own ways but unless they come with some mad money or something if they said to me at the stadium whether that'd be big enough for the stadium or that I'd I'd be up for it, but, you know, I don't want to call Nathan out. He's a good mate of mine. I hope he does well, wins his next fight, whatever, and I'll give my... There's enough belts out there for everyone, I think, do you know what I mean? We're both BCB. Uh, I want him to do well. I want myself to do well. If we meet, I'm sure we could put that to the side for a little bit, but right now, I don't think we're on a collision course. And 
Would that be a card you'd like to fight on yourself as well? So obviously, if the fight between you is not highly unlikely to happen, if the offer was there, would you would you like to fight on that card? Um, I mean, it'd be nice. So I'd love to fight at the stadium and stuff. But obviously, he's with Frank and I'm with a uh, boxer, so uh, it's probably very unlikely. Um, but who knows? Who knows what could happen? Maybe I don't know. Chris Bennett Smith's probably the biggest boxer car, the guy to have a stadium fight. He's already had one in here, so. The only thing is, it's about 200 miles the other way. <laughs> but, you know, maybe we can keep building and get one round here. Yeah, if, if, who knows? Who knows? Bring a world title to the Black Country. So, Ola, thank you for joining us again tonight. Absolute pleasure speaking to yourself.